Highest energies, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Of those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what the cards predict for you for the next 24 to 48 hours. This is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. Okay, wow, this is interesting. I feel like some of you are... There's a situation that you're stuck on. You, you currently find yourself stuck on. There's something here that I feel like, you know, maybe... It feels like your energy is fixated on someone whom you're not receiving any contact or you're not receiving any communication from. You know, th this is someone who I feel like maybe has blocked you. They might have blocked you... Uh, like on social media, they might have blocked your number, they might have blocked all means of communication with you. This is someone who maybe also has blocked you emotionally, like this person is just not responsive emotionally, um, energetically here. But I think you're getting, some, you're finally getting some sort of information or some sort of insight into this person, their energy and the situation. For some of you, it's someone who's just you know, very quickly, very abruptly and unexpectedly ended con like all means of contact and communication with you and just, you know, they disappeared, just poof, vanished into thin air, dissipated like a ghost. Someone who might have just, you know, completely pulled away without a word, without an explanation. Um, a situation that I feel like you've never had closure on. Well, I feel like over the next 24 to 48 hours, you're finally closing the chapter on something. You're finally closing the chapter. I see there being movement, okay? So it's very likely that maybe this is someone whom is going to communicate with you, okay? It could be an energy from the past, someone whom you haven't heard of, or you, sorry, you haven't heard from in such a long time, finally decides to communicate. You know, if this person blocked you, then in the next 24 to 48 hours, surprisingly and unexpectedly, they could just unblock you. Um, so it could be direct communication that comes in from this person or it could be a connecting energy, okay? Your friends, because the Three of Cups is kind of like a gossipy kind of energy. So your friends might say something about this person or, you know, your connecting energies around you here might bring to your attention some information about this person. Like they might say, you know, I heard so-and-so is seeing someone else. I heard so-and-so, you know, I, I saw, I bumped into them and, you know, they were with someone else or I heard they got a new job. You're going to find some sort of information, which I feel like for a lot of you is going to give closure. Now, it's interesting because to me it feels like some of you are getting the closure that you're going to need to finally move on from this person. And, you know, for a long time maybe you've always wanted to work on the situation, right? What You wanted to work on the situation or you were always of the mindset that if this person comes back, you know, you're willing to sort of revisit things. But whatever it is that you find out here, it, it, it's, it gives you the closure to finally cut ties with them or to finally understand that it wasn't you, it was all them and to move on from this person. Okay, so it's is it an apology? Is it an explanation? Is it an ownership? Is it, you know, some information here? Whatever it is, it helps you move on because I think you were stuck. You were stuck about, you know, you were stuck on this person. You were hung up on this person and you were holding on, you were holding on to this person or this situation or the hope for reconnection with two hands and you were not able to move on, right? Because you were, you know, holding, clutching on for dear life. And now it, some sort of information and look it may be something that you come across on the internet it might not necessarily come directly from this person or from a connecting energy it could be you you might read a simple quote that resonates with you so deeply and it just gives you that little push to release this person it might be a film you might watch it might be you know a post someone puts up on a social media page whatever it is here's the thing with closure, and a lot of people don't understand that, it doesn't really involve anyone else but you. And for a long time, you thought that you needed to hear it from them. 
And look, for some of you, maybe that's what you need, right? But for a lot of you, I think, you know, the closure, it comes from you. And so here you are. You know, some of you, I'm, I'm hearing that you need this person to apologize or you need, you feel stuck because it's consuming you and you're thinking about it constantly and you want to meet this person because I think some of you want to talk about what it is that's happened so you can get it off your chest so you can have closure so you don't stay locked in on this person forever. Um, you just want this conversation, right? Some of you, I'm seeing it's been a conversation wheel. Okay, it's just, it's been a conversation wheel and every time you talk to this person or when you have in the past, it's just made things worse. But I, what I see now is you're drawing a line. You're drawing a line and you're going to exchange some emails or you're going to learn a lot about your feelings or about what happened, what's happened here. And I'm seeing that this is, whatever it is that happens here is enough for you to move on there is an inner journey that is taking place inside of you and it's you're finding the peace okay you could be finding the peace all on your own you could have someone that might help you to find this peace but like every like like every journey okay it's never a straight line it's wild it's messy there's a few detours there's a few barriers right there's a few ups downs and sideways you know it's not a one size all one size fits all journey um but you're closing something. The truth is you are finally closing something. Okay? And it, it's been a complicated emotion, but I think it's been a complicated um, situation, but I think you're ready to heal. You're finally ready to heal. And that healing is going to bring bring that closure as well. You know, it, that wanting to heal is going to take the pressure. It's going to allow you to find a patience with yourself. Look, for some of you, maybe, you know, it's because you've been doing some inner work. You've been doing some inner work. Um, there's been, you know, some shadow work that I'm seeing. For some of you, it could be that, you know, when I say closing the chapter or closing things, you might potentially be, whatever has happened to you, you're making peace with some conflict, but you're moving forward with this person, but you're finally you know, accepting their apology, you're finding making peace with something that's happened here, with the fact that they've cheated on you, or the fact that they've been, you know, dishonest, or they've hurt you, whatever it is, you're making peace with it. So some of you are closing up the chapter, and you're moving on without them. For others of you, you're closing up the chapter, and you're putting up some healthy boundaries. Um, these boundaries include mental and emotional ones, and not just physical ones, and it just feels like you're no longer, you know, replaying what happened here, like, again and again which in reality all it did was just trigger you know more and more emotions every time you play it back you're no longer drowning in your thoughts you're no longer dwelling on the situation you're going to move forward because and this i think even though you think it's a lot of it has to do with outer influences it's all you so i need you to take the credit for it okay it's all you because you've been putting in the work the inner work the shadow work you've been the one that's you know you sat with your pain you understood it so you know, chances are that, you know, it's been you and you're putting, and it's time to pull your energy from out of this person, out of the situation, and it's time to put that back into yourself here. It's, yeah, some of you, I think, even though you're closing the chapter, you're initiating round two with this person or with this, you know, um, connection, because as I always like to say, you know, there is no such thing as an ending. Every beginning comes off the heels of an ending. So yet yeah, things might end, but you're ready to look beyond what this person did to you, okay? You're ready to release your anger and your pain. You're ready to heal and move on, you know, and it's all a part of this journey that I'm seeing. Be patient with yourself and just know that it's going to be a process. And it has been a process, right? But some of you are there. You're there. You're ready to release. You're, you're ready to let go. You're there. And what a powerful next 24 to 48 hours, okay? Um... Also, some of you, you've been sort of stuck on making some sort of decision, whether this decision is what we spoke about or whether it's something else. I think whatever it is you're stuck on, let me tell you, you need to trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. It's going to guide you out of the darkness. Okay, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching, listening. Please show your support to the channel like by liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you interested in the personalized reading, please feel free to connect. Bye for now.